And uh, welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad Musburger with Billy Packer. Coach, what do we expect? What kind of a game have we got here? Two teams with very quick athletes, Brent. They're deep on the bench. One club very experienced, however. One club extremely young. Uh, in the case of Arkansas, that may be the difference in this game. But Arkansas in quite a role, particularly with high-scoring games. And Denny Crum and Louisville are so familiar to fans of the NCAA tournament. Louisville has won 22 of its last 27 tournament games. So if there is a difference here, they are battle-tested. They have the experience. Let's now meet the starting lineups. Here's the PA in Arkansas. And forward, a six-foot, six-inch freshman from Memphis, Tennessee. Number 10, Todd Day. For Louisville, and forward, a six-foot, eight-inch senior from Laurel, Mississippi. Number 21, Kenny Payne. For Arkansas at forward, a six-foot, four-inch junior from Dallas, Texas, number 24, Lindsey Howell. For Louisville at forward, a six-foot, seven-inch junior from Louisville, Kentucky, number 44, Tony Kimbrough. For Arkansas at center, a six-foot, nine-inch junior from Kansas City, Kansas. Number 55, Mario Credit. For Louisville at center, a six-foot, nine-inch senior from Savannah, Georgia. Number 42, Purvis Skeleton. For Arkansas at guard, a six-foot, three-inch senior from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Number 12, Keith Wilson. For Louisville at guard, a six foot three inch junior from Louisville, Kentucky, number three, Keith Williams. For Arkansas at guard, a six foot two inch freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma, number 11, Lee Mayberry. For Louisville at guard, a six foot three inch sophomore from Bay City, Texas, number 23, LeBrantford Smith. Introducing the head coaches for of the Arkansas points. Louisville, the lower seeded team. Actually, I think you can refer to it as a higher <laughs> seed as you will. <laughs> and they'll wear the whites. And the Arkansas Razorbacks in the traveling dark uniforms. Payne, first shot. And the first foul of the game goes against Louisville. That's against Payne, who picked it up after missing the baseline jump shot. And we get started, and we see Louisville setting up its fame press. They'll make these youngsters handle the ball against them. Well, it's interesting. The players from Arkansas after playing Loyola Marymount said Louisville plays up tempo, but Loyola Marymount played up, up, and away tempo. So now they're going to get back down to earth here today. Two very quick teams. Curtis Allison with the interception. And back come the Cardinals. Williams and it is intercepted by Wilson, one of the finest defensive guards in the country this year. Doesn't break Alvin Robertson's records and Credit coming up draws the foul and he's got a big time body down on the inside. Ariel Credit got off to the great start against Loyola Marymount, ended up with 34 points, 13 rebounds. He's a player that even his own teammates say that we've got to keep him mentally into the game early. Very, very talented. And has had some big games this year, of course, of Loyola Marymount being the biggest. Key thing for Louisville is the fact that with Purvis Ellison on credit early on, Ellison can't afford to get in foul trouble. It's about the only weakness he has in his game. He sometimes picks up some easy ones. Pressing both ways. A little zone pressure now by Arkansas. Quickly, Louisville comes to the attack. Right for Smith through Kimbrough, and there's Keane again. Short, and he's 0 for 2. Off quickly come the Razorbacks looking for the break. It's Mayberry, pull up. Louisville rebound. Off comes the Bradford Smith. Against the Louisville club, if you press them like this, you're probably going to have to pay because in addition to Kimbrough and Payne, Smith, they also have... In the case of Purvis Ellison, the guy who can score when he gets it down the low end against the press. Williams in and out. Won't stay down for Louisville. Break two on one now. Nice Back pass. to Howell, and he comes in, and the foul is going to be called against Louisville, and that is number two against Payne. Payne in early foul trouble here in the first two minutes 
of this second round game between the Louisville Cardinals and the Arkansas Razorbacks. We talk about outstanding freshmen. We're going to see another one coming into the ball game right now. Everett Sullivan uh, going to take Payne's place. Denny Crump doesn't like to see an experienced senior going out for a freshman, but Sullivan is a very gifted player. Not your normal freshman. I don't think Florida State ever recovered from that three that he buried in the corner during that dramatic comeback in the Metro Conference regular season game. Florida State's been knocked out of the tournament, and Howell, who has averaged better than 25 points a game in the last four games, missing at the line. Howell said he wished that they had been sent to Dallas. He'd been on fire in Dallas. Now Louisville. 0 for 5 from the field, trailing by only 3. So they're fortunate with this slow start. Kane missed a couple of jumpers. Out with two fouls right now. They've come through Sullivan, the freshman, and he'll get to Ellison on the turnaround. Underneath, Sullivan battling for it, and Arkansas comes away with the rebound. Fred Louisville very tight early on because they've been getting the kind of shots they want. And the young man. Number 10, Todd Day out of Memphis, Tennessee. A big time recruit who got away from Memphis State. Playing at Arkansas as Coach Richardson unlocks that vault. Here comes Ellison for the jam. Long Good comeback. Mayberry on the dish and slam in by Howell. Great way to attack the press. Nolan Richardson going right after it with the bomb. Sullivan handles in the attack court for Louisville. Right back to Kimbrough missing. Oh, it isn't the youngsters who are tight. It's the veterans who are having difficulty at the start of this second rounder. 8-2, Arkansas on a tear. Missing, and Ellison Yankee the way, and credit his first personal foul. Both teams a little bit out of sync. Arkansas pushing the ball up court. We haven't really seen what a half-court offense is going to look like. I expect this game to settle down in the next couple of minutes. Nolan Richardson changes his press a little bit. Louisville only one of eight. Remember that horrendous game when they gave up 24 straight points to Memphis. In now, and Ellison is fouled from behind. And jumping in there on him was Keith Wilson. He's the senior in the lineup out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Southwest Conference Defensive Player of the Year. I think it's a great story off the court as well. Had to sit out two years because of academic problems and now is going to graduate on time. He's really done a fine job with the books. Nice kid. We had to spend some time with him yesterday. Williams surrounded. Gets it out to Smith. Good bounce. On a bounce to Kimbrough with a nice pass and good defense by Arkansas on the inside. Purvis Ellison, much like Danny Ferry, one of the great passing big guys you see in the game on the college level. They come deep to Ellison from Savannah High School in Savannah, Georgia. And LeBradford Smith is fouled. That's Wilson on him. And that's two quick fouls on the defensive whiz. Nolan Richardson doesn't need that. He's one of his experienced ball players out there. But Bradford Smith double pump in that. Actually realized he wasn't going to be able to get off the jump shot he wanted. So with the double pump, pick up the foul. Smart play. Larry Limbo there handling the ball to Smith. He's the referee. His umpires are Tom Lopes and Larry Rose. And they're officiating the start of this game very tight much tighter than the first game was officiated at the start, and the players are now going to have to adjust to that. Each side with two personals apiece. And the ball goes out to Arkansas. They lead it 8-3. We've played almost three minutes of the first half. Brent LeBradford Smith, one of the best free throw shooters in the country. Surprising to see him miss one. As I said, this club's a little tight right now. Against the pressure, out of bounds. Louisville ball. Mario Credit took his eye off the catch. Looking to make the pass. See that so often. Check the defense a little different now. They're playing the zone. Going to match up out front with Wilson. Playing out there with Mayberry. Match up along the back lines. Kimbrough has it slapped away at Ellison. Louisville was standing in the right spot and pulls the Cardinals to within three. Then Smith comes back on the interception, but he traveled. Arkansas ball. LeBradford Smith with a great vertical leap. 
Good timing, picks that one off. And he's made an amazing adjustment because he's really looked upon as a non-ball handling guard coming into college. He's made the adjustment to the point position for Louisville. Spinner by Day is short on the iron. Ellison rebounds again. That's his third in the early going. Sullivan, the freshman, looking for his shot. Beautiful. Offense, but score. Offensive foul and put the field goal down. That's a beautiful move by Sullivan, using that left hand, just gliding in. Project this kid to be one of the top players in the country before he gets out of Louisville. One of the things about Denny Crum's success in the NCAA, when you watch Louisville play, their players are thinking score and shot. He's got nobody who looks away from the iron. They'll all contribute when they have to. Now the interception by Smith. Lead now to Williams will go for it. Normally, Louisville players can go to the glass pretty good, too. That's a guard. The Bradford Smith did an excellent job shielding on that play. Louisville's first lead, 9-8 at the 16-22 mark. Bowers into the ball game now. Day out. Nolan Richardson trying to get a little bit more defensive play in there. Always the little man handling the ball. Howell maneuvering. The quickness of that Louisville defense. They do not give you much time to shoot the ball. Playing straight man to man. Purvis Ellison on Howell. Which puts Sullivan on credit, who ought to be able to get something inside. Howell gets there the jump is. shot, and there he is. Chance for a three-pointer. That was a mismatch. Uh, I'm surprised Everett Sullivan got caught guarding Mario Credit on that switch. Credit just had too much size for him. <laughs> it looks like Sullivan is asking everybody, why me? How did I get stuck with a six foot nine, 240 pounder? Mario Credit has one stop. Credit with that monster game against Loyal and Marymount. 34 points, 13 rebounds, missing that one, and Kimbrough comes away for it. Intercepted by the Razorbacks. Opportunistic. Bowers did it. He's maneuvering on the inside with the left hand. Battle on the glass. Tap free. The Bradford Smith in a foot race. Bowers with him. He's fouled. Bowers has got some speed because LeBradford can pick him up and lay him down himself. Both of these teams very, very quick. LeBradford Smith's toughest job as we watch. Coach Richardson on the side. Arlen Bowers, first personal. And now the seven-footer will check in. This is an interesting move by Denny Crum, and he hasn't won two national championships for nothing. I mean, he's a very smart coach. If you look out on the floor, Arkansas is very, very small right now. Credit the only guy over 6'5 on the court. So now you have Ellison in the, in the ball game. And you've got a seven-footer in the game. Let's see if Nolan Richardson makes an adjustment because Louisville towers over them inside. We're saying that LeBradford Smith's toughest job, Billy, comes during practice when he takes on a young man by the name of Jerome Harmon, who's not eligible this year, who's supposed to have a great future ahead of him down at Louisville. He'll be the point man, apparently, next year, according to Coach Crum. And now at the free-throw line, Louisville takes another one-point lead. Felton Spencer in there. He's got credit on his side, and it, it moves Purvis over on Howell. A lot of size out there for Louisville. They come down the baseline, and Spencer with a block. Mayberry gets it back to the glass. And Ellison off with his fourth rebound. Midcourt to Smith. Three-on-one advantage. Here comes Smith. He travels. No basket. It excited this huge crowd, but it doesn't count. But Brent, what does count is Louisville now has got a big advantage on the boards. Let's see if Arkansas's quickness takes care of Louisville's size. Another block potential, right? Mayberry gets it back, comes up over. Spencer can't get the roll, and there is credit. Would have had an opportunity for still another three-pointer. And if he'd gotten the roll, and Spencer assessed his first personal. That is six team fouls against Louisville. I, I think we're going to be seeing Nolan Richardson thinking about bringing Oliver Miller in, his shot blocker, which would be a little bit better matchup. Sometimes you can go with quickness against size, but in the case of Purvis Ellison being so mobile, Louisville can match it with quickness as well.
two big free throws. Louisville stays up by one. Smith's three is off, and Wilson rebounds for Arkansas. Not the play there. They've got to use some inside power here while they have the advantage. Bowers hits Howell on the break and in the paint area. That's five points for Lindsey Howell, who transferred from San Jacinto, J.C. Howell has just turned out so many quality players. I want to tell you how good the junior college ranks are. Howell, who has just burned up the Southwest Conference this year, although he didn't make all-conference team, was not a starter on that club. Oh, what a rebound. rebound by Ellison, but couldn't get it back in. He was a little bit off balance underneath the hoop after the strong rebound. He's pulled down five boards already. There's Howell again, and Ellison coming over to help out Williams. Loose, they go to the floor. They turn it over. Sullivan on the bounce to Smith. This one will count. Louisville leading 13-12. Louisville switching out front. Smith couldn't come up with the steal. Now Howell hits one from the outside. He can move that shot around. He really can, and he's he makes all the adjustments in the air. I think it's very interesting. Nolan Richardson was telling us the other day that Howell was not even highly recruited out of junior college. But when he went down and took a look at him, he said, well, his assistant coach, Scott Edgar, take a look and said, this is the guy we need to be the perfect piece to fit in our puzzle. And he was absolutely correct. I'm still here in the Hoosier Dome right now in this game with the winner to take on Illinois, Denny Crum starting to work a little bit on the officials. He's not getting the best of them. He's had seven whistles blown against Louisville and only four against Arkansas in the early going. And Arkansas leading 15-13 right now. Playing that matchup zone out front. Louisville going to the outside. Three by Smith. First time, a little double team trap. Bowers missing. Wilson digs it out for Arkansas. Good hustle by the senior guard. Has Ellison on him. Goes to the bounce pass. Saved beautifully over there in the corner. And the Razorbacks have set it up. Some real quickness out here. Here's Howell again. He's been devastating. He's off with that one. And Ellison rebounding number six. Notice how smart Purvis was in that play. Look to go long. Open. Natural left-hander was able to take advantage of it. It's a four-point Louisville lead. Bowers cut off. Mismatch outside. Purvis moved his feet pretty well on that play, though, considering he was matched up with a five-tenner. And Bowers makes him pay with a three-pointer. The big guys are going to stay on the little man. It'll be tough. 18-17 Louisville. He's a 50% shooter from that three-point range, so extremely effective out there. Now Ellison zips a pass to Sullivan. What a pretty pass that was by Ellison. Showing his ball handling skills with his size. He could see the open man. Curtis asking to come out right now. He's a little tired. Denny Crum going to make the move. Five players are about to come out. Two on Louisville. Now it'll be six. The battle of the glass won again by Spencer. Cardinals ball. Mario Credit very tired too as well, Brent. Sullivan is short, gets it back, wants inside, and Razorbacks pick it off. The zip to the middle man is Howell, hits the layup, and it's a one-point lead for Louisville. These teams are not only physically tired, they're emotionally tired. They, they got to catch their second wind in both regards. Waiting for that timeout. And here's yeah. the way they're going to do <laughs> the it, The troops. <laughs> Reinforcements. Get their breath as Curtis Ellison from the left baseline. And neither coach wanted to call a timeout. They want that TV timeout coming up. They only get three per half in the tournament, unlike four during the regular season. Boy, that Howell with 11 points. Is this an up and down game? They're walking back down the floor. Somebody has got to give in a little bit here. Don't you believe they can't shoot in this building, folks? We are proving otherwise right now. Here is Williams. That was off. And Ellison is right there. His seventh rebound and a putback. The man they call Never Nervous, who won an MVP of an NCAA tournament as a freshman. And they led Louisville to its second national title of the 80s. Just like that, Mayberry comes through. 
his sister is married to Coach Richardson's son, Nolan Jr. And that's how it became such an easy recruit, although the coach shied from it. Didn't know if he wanted to stay in the family that way. And when Lou Olson came and knocked in, he said, I better get that young man. <laughs> but Bradford Smith couldn't get it to fall. You know who's there. And it goes over to Arkansas. And now, finally, here comes the shock troops. <laughs> finally, <laughs> both coaches. Oh, there are some tongues dragging as they head for the sidelines over there. Off to a great start, tied at 24. Thought would come in, matches up very well with Felton Spencer, so there is some size matchup. Day back in the ball game with Tony Kimbrough on him. This is Bowers for the Razorbacks. They've been deadly from the three. Missed that time. Battle underneath, won by the taller Cardinals. And Williams puts it on the floor for Coach Crum. Cornelius holding another one of those outstanding freshmen that Denny Crum has. Really went well up on the boards that time. Brewer out here. So now Denny Crum going with two freshmen of his own. Spencer against a good shot blocker. The turnaround, the whistle blew, would have counted. Foul by Mayberry, his first personal foul. And that is the fifth team foul against Arkansas. Lewis. The way the jitters is when you play an up-tempo game like this, each possession not that important. So guys get an opportunity to get into the stream of things. Here's Felton Spencer, who has really worked hard to become not only a, a, an outstanding player, but a, a well-conditioned basketball player. Very intelligent young will play tomorrow in Reunion Arena in Dallas, Texas against Missouri, and Colorado State against Syracuse. Bowers trapped in the corner by Brewer. Now Denny Crum putting the club out on the floor that presses extremely well because Brewer and Williams back there, extremely quick. Two NCAA titles in the 80s. The only other coach who can claim that, Bobby Knight of Indiana. Well, we've got Knight. Bowers explodes on the inside. Arkansas keeps it alive and taps it back in. They pull dead even at the nine-minute mark. 26 all right now. Straight man-to-man -man now. Arkansas dropped out of that zone, goes back to their man-to-man. -man. Not a good pass by Keith Williams. And a long one to Mayberry. Arkansas leads it. Two big mistakes by Williams. One, the bad pass attempt inside. Then while he was feeling sorry for himself, he gets beat on transition. The freshman Brewer, number 11. Good defense, man-to-man -man now by Arkansas. Run down, and Kimbrough, who has not scored in this game so far, hands it off to Brewer. Funny lineup for Louisville out there right now, Brent. You're not talking about Payne is out of there. You've got Purvis out of there. Not a lot of scoring. Inside and a foul on Holden. And with Meany. They hammered on him as LeBradford Smith is due to check back in. Arkansas foul. Fred, you mentioned Denny Crum. You know, we still have in the tournament Knight, Crum, Smith, and Thompson. Four of the great coaches with their outstanding programs. 20 final fours and seven national championships between them. And you would not be surprised to see a couple of them in the Final Four again this year. Certainly would not. Indiana coming out of the West this year. They were hoping to get the number one seed in the Midwest. The difference, Illinois beat them twice during the regular season. And Illinois went into Michigan, beat the Wolverines on that last weekend. And Indiana was beaten by Iowa. So Indiana, a two seed out west in the Arizona region. And Illinois brings its fans to Indianapolis. Arkansas ball right now, 28-27. One-point lead for the Razorbacks. 8-10 to go. Travel. Six turnovers. Arkansas will push that ball up the floor beautifully. Ellison returning. And Purvis Ellison has already yanked down seven rebounds and he looks so poised and smooth the way he plays so graceful tremendous professional career ahead of him he can bring his game outside he can take it inside how about that defense by mayberry one-on-one -on -one. even miller stepping out there this arkansas team really goes after you very well with the man-to-man -man defense Ellison along the baseline. Great pass back to Brewer. Couldn't get the roll that time. Long arms of Miller doing a good job on the rebounding end as well. 
Here's Dave. Misses the three. Yanked off by Holden. And he's first West Coast recruit. Smith ships Ellison, and he is fouled by Miller. Led the Southwest Conference in shot blocks this year, but pretty tough to stop Purvis when he gets that close to the basket. Miller's got a 38-inch sleeve on Plus, you know, when you're... When you're 6'10 and 38-inch sleeves, you ought to reach out there. Remind me a little bit of Sam Perkins, uh, obviously much heavier built. But does have those long rounds. Oh, it's Bowers. He kind of glimpse of checking back in, and Ellison nails the free throw. Do you think that the entire city of Louisville and the Cardinal fans everywhere held their collective breath when he went down with that knee injury late in the year? The Cardinals grouped together and then upon his return, there was sort of a letdown, and they did not finish off on a strong note, as Denny Crum usually does. Said the team got out of sync and traced it all back to the Ellison injury. Here are the Razorbacks, trailing by one, set up the half court. They wanted to pass inside, and that on Ellison's his second personal. That was a beautiful Presses and in their man-to-man. Razorbacks are struggling at that free throw line. That is five straight that they've missed. They are three of nine. Louisville is 8 of 10 for the game. Smith rims out. Holden going up after it. Jump ball. The possession arrow sends it over to Arkansas. Well, in the East region, they'll move along to the Meadowlands. It'll be Minnesota and Duke. And they will play in the Meadowlands. That game will be on a Friday night. Now, the other half of that draw, Georgetown will play Notre Dame tomorrow. And North Carolina State against Iowa. What a play by Smith. The great hands, but to be able to spot Brewer on the pass was just excellent. 31 28 is the result of it, Billy. 6 24 to go. Tony Kimbrough, fellow, another fellow that's made a great recovery for some academic problems as well. The inside is Miller, his first field goal off the bench. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of outstanding young players on both of these clubs. Well, these two schools have waged a couple of great games in previous NCAAs. Ellison fouled that time by Howell. Everyone remembers the U.S. Reed shot there from midcourt. Blew him away. And then the Southwest Conference tournament. In Dallas. So they're, and they're, they're still a very, very young club. Nolan Richardson struggled. Everybody's uh, familiar with the story of losing his daughter. Uh, and a lot of the problems that we're at Arkansas in regard to should he or should he not be the coach there. He's really settled things down now. A quality gentleman. And looks like he's got this program in great shape, not only today, but for the future. Long pass. Tap Miller. in by Miller. Ian Howell battling it. Is Howell coming out, and they couldn't put it down. And now they get well, tangled up on the inside. I don't think that, anything no, was no, I don't agree head. with the referee on this one. The ball was under the rim when he touched it, not on the rim. And he's saying that it was basket interfe off offensive interference by Miller. This ball was under the rim, in my opinion. Now, watch this. Miller's going to go right back up. See, the ball was under the rim, not, not above the rim. And Miller goes down. Look at Brewer, former football player. Boy, we're seeing great action here. 33-30, Louisville up by three. 5.45.